On our fire tracker, a 49 acre wildfire that was burning south of State Route 59, about two miles west of Apple Valley, is now fully contained. One homeowner has died in what remains a very open and active investigation, but officials are saying it appears that he suffered a medical emergency in the chaos of the scene. ABC4's Katie Corrales reports. Now, fire officials say this is a human caused wildland fire that ignited around 7 35 Monday night, taking the life of this homeowner of this damaged property who appeared to go into cardiac arrest while battling the flames near his property. The local civilians that came on scene to help him out did state that he was conscious, alert, talking to him. He was trying to put the fire out when they got him out of here. Washington County Fire Warden Adam Hyder says detectives are still determining his cause of death. Crews say they have no idea how this fire began or an exact ignition source and receive conflicting statements from witnesses. And hopefully we can get a good statement out of them of what actually occurred and not lies and misinformation because it makes it difficult. You know, people need to know what happened. Hyder says five homes were threatened in this blaze, but as of 10 o'clock Monday morning, firefighters secured a dozer line and reached full containment, remaining on scene throughout the day to mop up the site. With abnormally high temperatures in Washington County and more red flag warnings expected in southern Utah this weekend, fire officials are asking the public to be careful. All but one of their more than 25 wildfires so far have been human caused, and they say all of them are preventable. And we're well above average in the number of fires and acres burnt, uh, not just here in southern Utah, but statewide already. Crews asked that the public educates themselves of fire restrictions that went into effect June 1st in the area. In Apple Valley, Katie Kratlis, ABC4 News.